Well then, good morning. Thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm out on a golf course, I'm at Heswell Golf Club, and uh, if you've watched my recent reviews, you'll know I'm filming three different types of product review out here this morning, and the sun is shining, it's a bit breezy, but uh, it's absolutely perfect conditions to play some winterish golf. Hey, what am I doing? This video, this video is all about the new golf ball from Seed. Now, I've not tried this indoor in terms of dry ball data gc2 so i have nothing to go on in terms of that as yet we'll finish off with that at the end of the video what i'm going to do i'm going to do as ever i'm going to hit some uh, plenty of shots from in and around the green different types of chip shots if i can produce some this morning i'll hit some wedges in try it off the tee try it with some mid and long irons and uh, we'll finish off in the warmth of tee up low towers right let's get this test underway from the uh, short fringe uh kind of shot that i like to play just to hit it in fairly low a little bit of check and stop near the hole at least that's the plan at least doesn't always come off that way but i've got to say made pretty good contact with these balls uh did exactly what i expected to do a little bit of check release to the hole and so far this shot at least very very responsive from this new golf ball from seed so next up with some wedge shots into the green and these are about sort of 100 yards out fairly windy conditions so not an easy one to, uh, to <laughs> for me at least anyway to get decent shots to for you to have a look at but um, camera placed at the back of the green you'll see how the ball reacts I mean from the pitch marks I've not seen that uh, footage as yet but from what I seen from the pitch marks and where the balls came to rest there's a ball uh, right hand side of your frame that you're looking at that sort of uh, spun down to the right hand side that was actually pitched on a down slope so I can't believe that stopped as soon as it did uh, ball to the uh, left of your frame again uh, seemed to pitch up and stop fairly quick so again very impressed with what the ball did just in terms of responsiveness first of all before I talk about the feel. There's some interesting footage for you now again where I come from sort of a, a, a fluffy lie um, one where I was able to throw the ball pretty much high and as far as I could to land near to the flag and stop dead I suppose is what you're looking for here and as you see with the first ball I got it fairly short the second ball was able to throw it just that little bit further until as you see fourth ball we came fairly close to holding it but the interesting thing for me was that I had very much I had a lot of confidence in what the ball was going to do and how it was going to react so I was able to put that little bit of extra zip onto the swing knowing that, that ball was going to pitch and stop so again in all those situations from pitching it was very very responsive and did exactly what I wanted it to do when I was able to execute that shot I'm going to put a run of shots together for you now that I played literally around the course so with irons um, driver wedges like I said pretty much played every shot um, in this sort of nine holes that I've played at least here this morning with the golf ball and um, it's a solid solid performer this thing and I'm really really impressed this thing is different altogether for me it's really raised the game for seed um, because it does what all golf all good golf balls do it has the ability to do exactly what you want from the driver which is a basically a low spinning golf ball a more penetrating ball flight that's not affected by wind too greatly and then in and around the greens it's very very responsive short game with the putter again like the feel off the putter face i think without seeing dry ball data and i'm not even going to go to dry ball data to be perfectly honest with you on this video um I would game this golf ball it's as simple as that really the one thing i want to throw up for you now and one thing well i will have to finish with an extra bit of footage on the end of this video is i don't know the price of these balls so next clip you see uh, will be indoors at your plow towers and we'll finish off this video because i just want to see what the price of these things is because i'm really interested uh, in this golf ball it's been really really impressive i have to say right let's keep the roundup of this video very very quick because as I said yesterday when I went out and played with this golf ball I had no idea of the price of it and I'm quite glad that I didn't to be honest with you it wasn't prejudged in terms of the mentality of where this was pitched at so I have every comment you've seen so far has been based purely on performance and as I said at the end there I would gladly gain this golf ball when I got back yesterday afternoon I contacted Seed and I asked them how much is this going to be priced at and it doesn't go for sale I think until next month as I understand so you can't buy them quite just yet they told me that this golf ball is going to be £22.50 UK sterling £22.50 per dozen now I am amazed because that makes it the best value golf ball 
by an absolute mile, as far as I'm concerned, that is out there in the marketplace right now. £22.50 for that kind of ball, this is top end performance with a mid price range, should we say? I was gonna say budget price, but it's probably, let's say mid range at best, but £22.50 for that golf ball is incredible. Incredible value. Um, I would gain the golf ball, as I already said, I would 100% gain the golf ball for £22.50. And all I can say is this, when they come for sale, order yourself a dozen, you won't waste £22.50, I can tell you. Order yourself a dozen and just see for yourself how well this golf ball perform because I'm blown away. Blown away, the performance was brilliant. It was right up there with premium golf balls. I've tested other golf balls that are premium golf balls and they've performed as well. But I've never tested a premium golf ball and come and sat back here and been told it's £22.50 per dozen. Almost half the price of the premium golf balls that I'm referring to in terms of performance that matches up to what this seed golf ball did out there on the course. Incredible. Anyway, thank you as ever for watching. Um, I've flashed up a few icons throughout this video, which is new to me because I don't like keep asking you to follow and like and all them things in every part of the video. So this is the last time when I mentioned it. Hope them icons aren't too annoying, but uh, thank you as ever for watching and uh, I'll see you very soon.